Hosting for large groups can be overwhelming at times. Lots of planning and a lot to do, but if you can make it easy by following certain steps here to break down each step and to hopefully calm you down. If you are freaking out right now, we have our dear friend Lisa McCollum. She is joining us with some do's and don'ts. Hey, yes, morning. good morning. I hope it is a good morning for everyone out there. A lot of people are just now getting out of their house this week if they're renting and then the rest of us are getting our homes ready to have those large groups yes. come to our house. So I, I know w I'm doing the exact same thing. We've got family coming in this week and a lot of coming and going, but it can be very, very stressful and overwhelming when you've got people coming to your home. You wanna make sure it's perfect and all of that, but I, I have do have some tips from learning the hard way of, of what we really need to do. And, and I would start with this, let's focus on what's important. So um, instead of completely redecorating your house or you know scrubbing baseboards and that type of thing, all of that's wonderful if you have time to do that, but let's focus on changing your bed linens, making those pretty, making those as, um, nice and, and warming and welcome, having new uh, linens for your, your bathroom each each guest needs to make sure that they have their own set of uh, towel, hand towel, washcloth. Right. And then it's always really nice and it just makes them feel like they're in a hotel. If you put together just a little basket and go to the Dollar Tree and, and grab uh, just some of the, the little travel size, um, you know, items that they may or may not have or forgotten, but it's so nice to just walk into their room and they immediately feel like royal to guest when that happens. So that's a that's a really good good one. That's a, that's a do. Uh, are there what are some don'ts? Uh, well, <laughs> okay, so uh, for those planners, if you're like me, uh, we love our agendas and itineraries and uh, putting everything together nice and neat. Sometimes it's just better, know your, know your guest, obviously, and know your group. Sometimes it's better to just have an outline or an idea mm -hmm. instead of having to stick to an agenda or an itinerary. Go ahead and, and plan your nights that you're going to eat in, maybe nights that you'll eat out, right. where where those locations are, let people choose if they want to. And if, if you can, go ahead and do call ahead scene. A lot of our restaurants in uh, our area will take reservations, but if they don't, they will at least do call ahead seating. And and I'd encourage that for not only this week, but for, for all weeks of the year, because they do offer it. You just don't always know about it. Mm, that's good to keep in mind. Uh, Lisa, let's talk about those hosting at their house, the aftermath. Yes. Uh, that can be exhausting because yes. someone has to clean it up, right? Yes. Um, how can we make this less tiring or time consuming? Well, I tell you what, at the end of a stay, I have these really nice, um, pretty baskets that almost look like a, a laundry basket in each room that the guests are staying or for each person. At the end of their stay, everything, all of those linens come off the bed. Everything that they need that I either need to wash, take care of, goes in that basket, anything that they're returning. So basically, uh, it's, it's like following how I clean up. So if there is a bucket, I always have an empty bucket for each room. When you need that quick 30 second or one minute quick cleanup, take that bucket around with you and everything that does not belong, put in there. Get the room ready and cleaned up and then at the end of that, you can go put all of those things back. Something that I do think that is has been very helpful is being able to have that when guests come because right. every they can go ahead and take, like I said, take the linens off, all of that stuff that you might do in a hotel, sure. just ask them to do it. I mean, they're, they'll be happy to. Well, actually that goes to my question is, is it polite to delegate tasks to Absolutely, yes. And again, let's know our audience. I would definitely treat my family different than if I was entertaining professional guests. But at the same time, why? I think that it is, it's perfectly uh, a social etiquette. It is, right. is fine to be able to do that. Okay. Yes. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, that's okay. We want them to come back and they want to see us happy, so they will come back. <laughs> we'll treat you like friends, not family. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And I have my family in town, and I'm happy I have my family yes. in town because my mom said, what do we need to do? And I was like, this, and you this, know what? This, those, are the best, those are the best. Those are the best. Come guests. to my house. And I will also cool. say too, just for um, kind of a last plug, any uh, folks that are hosting this week, mm -hmm. it's always great to just go ahead and, and check out our website and a lot of the event websites. There is something going on for everyone, sure. and always. it's always better to have plans for them to choose from as opposed to not making any at all. So it'd be great. All right. Any golden tip that anybody might be missing? Parting words. <laughs> Breathe real deep and have somebody watch your children while you're getting <laughs> <Okay>. out of <laughs> your house. <laughs>
Actually, well said. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. <laughs> I, that's, that's, as, that's as rated G as I can put that. Okay, no, I'm teasing. My, my poor kids, they know. It's either they scatter when, when mom is getting ready for the house, or I can entice them, throw some cash in, and let them help. Mm -hmm. Tip jar. Yes. Oh, Tip yeah, and I think yeah, if you yeah. leave them with their phones, I think that's they're okay, That's right. Too, that will right? be totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. behind the screen. Lisa, where can people follow you for more, infor or for more information? Thank you. Um, you can, of course, go on Facebook. My uh, my Facebook name is Lisa Arnold McCollum, and I've always um, liked to post a lot of fun tips and photos and different things for you. All right, great. Lisa McCollum, thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Thanks.